Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Llorente. Welcome to Polo In. One of the three ways to take away your opponents from the ball is by blocking them. In other words, is have one of the players of the team take away the mark in order to leave the player with the ball alone. In this example, look at the great player with the ball. We'll call him the ball handler. He can easily take the ball forward without being disturbed, taking advantage of the work of the blockers, his own teammates blocking the orange players. In fact, the gray players with the violet circles are preventing the opponents to get to the ball handler. Here again, the ball handler, the number three in the green circle, for the white blockers in the violet circles to do their work is waiting and leave him with the left lane free for him to advance and accelerate. As we already said, the mission of the blockers is to prevent the opposite team players to get to the ball handler. In other words, they are marking the defenders. Moreover, if it is possible, give the ball handler a possibility of a good pass. In this other example, the green blocker takes away the orange team from the green ball Ball handler. He remains on his own and free to play the ball forward. Very good for the green players, very bad for the orange team. In this specific example, you have two green players towards one orange player. This is very bad for the orange team. Now, with the game developing, another orange player goes for the ball handler. Though the blocker protects the ball handler and he allows him to accelerate forward with the ball. We can see that in this case, the transition and the change change of marks of the orange team went wrong. Let's see in this new example how the blocker works. He doesn't allow the red player number four to get close to the ball handler and then all of a sudden he accelerates to the left and converts himself in the receiver of the pass. Now let's see another blocker arriving. The ball handler ends up scoring a goal. Let's see here how the players are changing their function. The ball handler touches the ball forward. He then passes the ball to the receiver. Perfect play. The ball handler moves in order to create some space for him where he can accelerate. He tries to go on the side where the ball might be protected. Some prefer to go to the left, others prefer to go to the right. They will decide which side to choose according to the game, according to the horse and according to the opponents. It is in fact quite difficult to decide which side to play the ball to protect it, though it is worth thinking about it when you play the ball. The ball handler starts with a knock-in. Blockers do their work. The ball handler has space on his right-hand side and accelerates on the right. As everybody goes right, he decides to turn left. His fixed marker is in front of him, who is very slow in marking him close. When the red opponent decides to go and mark the ball handler, it's already too late. The ball handler can then turn right and keep running, thanks to his teammate, the blocker, who is allowing him to continue on this turf. And he ends up scoring from goal to goal. Though it is very important to know for the ball handler that taking the ball forward while the blockers are doing the work is very difficult and one needs a lot of dexterity and a very good and steady horse, a field in very good conditions and you have to play with your head up to see what's going on with the marks. If for example you play on a bad field it is very difficult to control the ball and take it forward with opponents marking you and with the need to change speed constantly. It is also difficult to take the ball forward through small touches or auto passes and looking both at the ball and at the opponents. The mission of the ball handler would be to advance towards his opponent's goal through auto passes, disarm the opponent's marks in order to leave one of his teammates free to receive a pass. Find the right moment to accelerate forward and escape. If it is not possible to advance, or make a pass, gain some meters and go forward and try to win the next play. In this example, the orange ball handler has a free space 
on the right hand side though he decides to go to the left two yellow players are coming for him what is he gonna do he hits the ball forward and gets ready for the next play then why didn't he go to the right this is just because he didn't see it clear with his particular horse and considering the position of his teammates and the opponents you have to be conscient and objective on what you can get and consider all the opponents that you have to avoid Look at the red ball handler here. First he goes to the left, taking all the players to the left, and then he makes a sudden acceleration to the right. And then he hits the ball hard forward. He didn't see a clear passing possibility. Though he gets ready for the next play. and ends up scoring a goal. On the other hand, the mission of the defenders is to neutralize the ball handler. If it is necessary to change the marks, one has to do it, though it has to be done fast and the defenders mustn't get trapped by the blockers. It is also important for the defenders not to give time to the ball handler. He has to be marked closely. He cannot escape. In this example, the red defender wants to reach the ball handler. Once he escapes from the blocker, he goes towards the ball handler and the ball handler must hit the ball. He cannot play. It is important to put some pressure on the ball handler. Here the defender achieves his objective and takes away the ball from the ball handler, avoiding the blocker. This is not easy. Well done. Here the ball handler accelerates to the right. A blue defender comes to mark him and a red blocker goes to reach the defender. A blue fixed mark is following him. The ball handler goes to the left. There's another fix mark watching him. The fix mark is not marking the ball handler because he has another mission. He has to mark another player. Meanwhile, the defender escapes from the blocker and goes towards the ball handler. The objective of a fix mark is to follow your opponent. He usually doesn't mark the ball handler if he's marking another player and he doesn't make marking rotations. Let us see here the ball handler and two blockers on the side and the away mark, which mission is to take the mark as far as possible from the ball handler in order to take him out of the game. So here in the white team, we can clearly see two defenders and two fixed marks. So one of the white defenders is blocked and the other comes out to go and reach the ball handler. The fixed mark continues with the away mark. I want you to watch the movement of the two defenders marked by circles. The defender marked with the black circle is blocked. He's trapped. He cannot, he cannot get to the ball handler. Now have a look at how the other defender escapes from the blocking and goes backwards to mark the ball handler. Let's see this new example. The green arrow indicates the way the attacking player is going. The white player, shown with the red arrow, is blocked by his opponent. As both defenders got trapped by a blocker, the ball handler waits for the right moment for a sudden acceleration to the left. Here the orange player waits for the right moment to escape. Look at the big mistake done by the yellow player marked with the red circle. He gets blocked by the other two players and the ball handler runs away with the ball. Here the blue player is blocked by the red number 3, so the ball handler can advance according to the green arrow. If the blue player wants to go in the direction of the blue arrow, he will get late to the ball handler. So, as he knows it, he doesn't do it. One could say he keeps the marking alive. So one of the defenders is blocked and the other comes out to go and reach the ball handler. Let's see now 
how the ball handler tempts the defender. The defender falls into the tramp and the ball handler can accelerate to the left on his own. The defender must reach the ball handler. The ball handler knows that if he has a defender close to him, he will need to play with pressure, like in this case. The pressure of the defender makes the ball handler miss the ball. Getting close to the ball handler obliges him to hit the ball and to stop playing. And in this way, the blocks are cancelled and the advance of the ball handler also. In this new example, I want to show you how the defender avoids the blocker. Here the ball handler has two options shown by the green arrows. If the defender follows the red arrow, the ball handler will want to go to the right and the defender would go long. Plus there is a blocker getting there to take the defender. So the ball handler decides to go and accelerates to the right. And what does the defender needs to do not to get caught into block? To keep alive, the defender needs to accelerate. The defender must not lose ground towards the ball handler. In this case, the ball handler did an excellent piece of play and scored. The blocker did an excellent work and the defender didn't get caught by the blocks, though he couldn't defend on the ball handler. Look how the white defender gets caught with the blocks. As a defender, you must avoid this. The yellow ball handler advances and converts a goal thanks to the blockers. Here the white defender goes for the ball handler. It is better to run towards defense instead of getting caught by a blocker. Look at the defender now. He is indicated by a green circle. The blocker tries to block him and catch him, but he accelerates to avoid him, to always be in front and towards defense. This is excellent by the defender. This is the way to do it. You mustn't get caught by the blockers. I hope you enjoy following videos. Do not forget to click like. We are here to help and argument the game, to help more people to understand and play Polo. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Polo In is often updated. There are many new videos. You shouldn't miss any of them. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.